Hey guys, update on the uh, Savage Model 12 BR. Finally got around to getting it back out again and getting some more rounds through it. I've probably put, oh, probably around 300 through it so far in load development. Um, I've had to change a few things around on it. Kind of go along, go over a few things with you guys. The uh, Accu Trigger, I tell you, this is probably the, the first time I've actually got a complaint on one of them. The, um, Side force lockout has just been an absolute nightmare on this rifle. I've never had one that's given me this much trouble. I got a feeling I'm going to end up having to just replace the trigger. I don't know. I've had to increase the weight, pull weight on the trigger enough to where it's, I think, compromised group size a little bit just to keep it from doing the side force lockout. Uh, the, uh, I had to change out the scope bases and rings got some a little bit taller to kind of get my eye relief correct for the bench rest style stock uh, the um, everything else seems to be going fine I will say though that this has probably been one of the um, most daunting load developments that I've ever had to do with a rifle out of um, right around 300 rounds now I think I may have finally come across one that might be worth pursuing uh, I've only been able to shoot 105 grain Amax and 80 grain burgers so far. The uh, place where I buy most of my reloading components have been pretty well out on about everything. But um, to kind of give you guys an idea of some of the group sizes I've got, got some targets that uh, I've done and uh, let you guys take a look at them. And like I said, man, there's just not much remarkable about the rifle so far. I think the accuracy is there. Um, it's just, I just haven't seen it yet. The uh, 105 grain Amax, and you can kind of get an idea here through this shot chart, but I mean, there's a few really good groups, but there's nothing really consistent. I've not been able to get anything consistent out of this rifle so far. Uh, I am using Bargat powder, various weights. Um, it seems so far I've had the best luck using the 80 grain burgers and actually shot these today. Um, and again, this is all at 110 yards. I haven't gone out any further than that, but that group right there is, I actually just shot that a little bit ago and it's, I mean, it's well within a third of an MOA. I don't remember the exact measurement, but that's, all these are three shot groups in low development. Um, that's a pretty good group right there. I mean, that's that's definitely respectable. But like I said, with the uh, with the 105 grain Amax, I just haven't been able to really get anything consistent. Um, I'm hoping that uh, after I get a little bit of more work with it and everything, I'm hoping that I can get the groups to shrink down a little bit more. I really want to try some of the 105 grain VLD burgers. But they're really hard to find, and it just seems like everybody in, online is out of them. But um, not totally going to give up on the rifle yet. I will say that uh, it's a finicky caliber, apparently, from what I'm personally seeing. I don't know if uh, other guys have had this much trouble with them. I know that uh, there's a few pet loads that guys like, and I've tried them, and they do. I have not seen the same results out of this rifle. But uh, at any rate, that's why they call it load development. It takes a while, so we'll see what happens with it. Stay tuned for another video. I'm going to try and get another one as soon as I get a few more bullets to try or, or a few more loads to test out and give you guys a better idea. But so far, overall, I'm happy with the way it shoots other than that uh, trigger giving me a little bit of problems. But uh, nonetheless, if you guys got any questions, feel free to post them up or send me an email. I'll be glad to help. And uh, just stay tuned. Thanks, fellas. Bye.